hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a recreation of my favorite kim kardashian uh so this is the look that i've recreated it's not a transformation it's just a recreation of our go-to makeup look and yes if you like this look please keep watching so firstly i'm taking my clinic toner to wipe up all the leftover dirt on my face since Kim's lips are plumbed up, I'm taking this bottle cap to fake a lip filler. Suck it in for 9 seconds and take it out. I'm taking this moisturizing cream from Face Shop and applying it all over my face. And now I'm taking my MAC Stroke Cream in the shade Pink Light and applying it on all points of my face like cheek, forehead, nose, cupid, scope. And now I'm blending it all over to give that nice glowy dewy look look at that glow guys now i'm taking my mac concealer palette and going in with two shades darker to my skin tone to hide all my dark spots i have quite a lot of dark spots from the leftover acne so I'm just hiding it up with the concealer which is very very important and now blend it all in since Kim's face is so clear and nice we need to make our base really nice now I'm taking my favorite Urban Decay all night foundation and applying it all over my face blending is the key guys keep blending it until you feel your skin looks just like your skin blend 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 now i'm taking my nars concealer in the shade biscuit and applying it under my eyes highlighting is the key your guys if you see kim's face she highlights it really really well on her under eyes so highlighting is nothing but two shades lighter to your foundation color your concealer shade must be two shades lighter to your foundation shade i like nicely now i'm taking my fenty beauty contour stick in the shade coco to contour my face look at that contour guys you every contour must be very sharp because Kim's favorite part is the contour if the contour goes wrong then it's really hard contour your cheek nose jaw your forehead everything must be contoured properly sharp contour and this is like you have to take like five shades darker to your foundation color it should be like literally brown so that's why they call it bronze now Blending is again the key. I mean, blending is again the key. <laughs> Blend it all properly. Your cheek area should be blended well. Take your time to blend in. Because I'm just editing it to be fast. But you have to take your time to blend all in. So yeah, your jaw area is also very important. Blend everything in, guys your nose so you can't use a beauty blender for your nose i'm taking this nice brush to blend it in it should be sharp if you see kim's nose it's so sharp so make sure your nose is really sharp with your contour look at that guys can you see a huge difference now now i'm applying my concealer on the sides of the nose because it will make my nose look more sharper and now blend it in I'm using the same concealer by the way take the same concealer and highlight your nose that is the t-zone look at that guys my god look at my nose my nose is not even like that in real <laughs> it is so sharp right so now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty translucent powder in the shade Butter to bake my under eyes. If you see Kim loves baking her under eyes and make sure her contour stands out. So bake your under eyes, wait for a while and then brush it. 
on both the sides. To get that sharp contour, she bakes under her cheek as well, under that proper cream contour to get that 3D effect on the cheek. Look at that guys, can you see? For the eyebrows, I'm taking my Nykaa Brow to Go and brushing it upwards because if you see Kim's eyebrows, it's so smooth and sharp. So brush it upwards always and then use a brow powder to fill in completely, completely. Make sure your eyebrows are sharp enough. Do it, do it in both your eyes. Again, brush it upwards and let it settle down and take a brow gel and apply it on your eyebrows to make it stiff and again brush it upwards. For the eyes, Kim has a very simple eyeshadow method and now I'm applying my concealer on my eyelids. So I'm taking this Makeup Revolution palette in the shade Distinguished which is a dark brown to cut my crease area. If you see Kim uses shades of brown and little bit of glitter. That's all. It's very simple. Make sure you cut the crease properly. A subtle darkness is fine. Once you're done with your distinguished shadow, now I'm taking this phonetic shade which is a dark glitter brown and applying it a little in the center. Now I'm taking my Ura Beauty palette in the shade raw and applying it in my inner eyelids to complete the look. Look at that guys, can you see your nice warm brownish eyeshadow there? It's very pretty, so I'm tired now. Now brush out the baking powder on your face completely. Can you look at that? Your under eyes look so much brighter and your contour looks so much sharper. Look at that, guys. It is so pretty. Now I'm taking my eyeliner. So again, this is a game changer, guys. Our eyeliner is the key to our eyes. She gives that nice winged liner, like sharp wing. It's not an ordinary wing, but a sharp winged eyeliner. So it takes time, but you probably do it, do it on both your eyes. Sometimes I'm just blabbering because it's a continuous recording. Look at that, guys. That's how your eyeliner is supposed to be. It should be really sharp. Now I'm taking my MAC mascara. It's my favorite you don't need a false lash if you have a good lash so i'm not a crazy fan of false lashes because my lashes are really nice so i'm just applying it on, on my i mean applying it over my lash i'm really sorry guys if i'm blabbering okay look at that guys i have so i'm taking my becca palette and taking this nice bronzy shade from the palette to go on top of the contour with the powder contour to make it look more soft and sharp don't go overboard guys it's a subtle look now i'm taking this blush and applying it on my cheek on my apples of my cheek <laughs> to make it more subtle and nice look at that guys i'm loving this makeup now i'm taking this highlighter from the same palette and applying it on my nose which is really really important and on my cheek area on my forehead everywhere wherever you want to apply a nice highlight because highlight is again the key look at that makeup guys it looks really really natural and pretty now i'm taking my favorite lip liner from k beauty and applying it on my lips you can go overboard on your lips and make it look much fuller also make it look like bigger and plumpier practice is the key because i love lips 
Look at that, guys. You have a nice fuller lip. So I'm taking my Sephora lipstick and just applying it on my lips. It's a very pretty shade. The dark lip liner and the light lip color is the key to our lips. And now had the lip gloss like really really light 